Since Michael Saylor and Strategy first bought Bitcoin, MSTR has actually outperformed BTC. However, with a few key data points, we can massively increase these returns even further. Today, we're going to be looking at how you can improve your MSTR investing and where better to start than the treasury company analytics page we have here for strategy. Now here you can see all of the data required to just get a good understanding of MSTR, the BTC accumulation, the share and stock price in general, and pretty much anything you'd ever need to know to help improve your own investing and analysis when it comes to MSTR. What you can see from this chart here is since micro strategy or now just strategies adoption of Bitcoin, They've actually provided over 3,000% returns compared to Bitcoin's around 700%, which is pretty astronomical and pretty mind-blowing to consider BTC has been historically one of the best performing assets globally. And we've seen over 4x returns in micro strategy or again, just strategy. I'm going to make that mistake a few times this video, so just be aware. It's pretty amazing. But as I said, you can scroll down and see all of the key information here. But a lot of people may look at micro strategy, strategy and think, how can I improve this even further? We have all of this data available to us to help improve our Bitcoin investing. We can use on-chain, macroeconomic, technical, fundamental derivative data, etc. And all of these in confluence can really help us to time our investment decisions. But we can actually use quite a few of these metrics to improve our MSTR investing. Of course, MSTR and Bitcoin have an incredibly strong correlation. Any company that holds over half a million Bitcoin is probably going to be pretty strongly influenced by what's actually happening in the price action of Bitcoin. But what we can do is just go up to, for example, an indicator like the MVRV Z score, one of the best performing, one of the most historically accurate metrics we have for the BTC price action, how we can actually try and gauge if we're potentially undervalued and at a discount or potentially overheated and potentially nearing a market peak. What we can see this orange line represents the Z score, which is taking into account the ratio between the black line here which is the market cap of bitcoin and this blue line which is the realized cap or the average accumulation price of all bitcoin on the network now once we actually look at the ratio between these two lines and just standardize that data into a z score we can see once this reaches these green lower regions it really outlines periods in which it'd be great to be accumulating btc heavily averaging into the market and on the contrary once we sit these very high overvalued red sell zone levels probably not a bad idea to begin taking some profit on your positions. And many people may look at these metrics and think, well, yeah, this is great on Bitcoin. We can see all the transactions, etc. Is there anything we can use like this for micro strategy strategy? Well, you can pretty much use this exact indicator. What I can do is just go over to trading view here and I've got the micro strategy chart. It's, it's still called micro strategy on trading. View. You can't blame me for keep saying that. I know everyone's going to comment. It's just strategy now, but it's hard to drop old habits. What we can do is if you have a uh, Bitcoin Magazine Pro subscription, sorry, you have access to many of our indicators and their trading view iteration. So what we've got here is the MVRV Z score, again, based on the Bitcoin data, but looking at the correlation between strategy and Bitcoin, looking at one year rolling average correlation, it's about 96% correlation. So every time Bitcoin's moving up, strategy is probably not too far behind and vice versa. So once we can actually see if BTC is very overvalued, topping out in the market, like it is as we first entered the red zone around here, that really strongly indicated that we were probably gonna see MSTR begin topping out soon as well. And the same is true for the downside again, in these lower regions down here, we could see as MSTR was bottoming out, it very much coincided with as this MVRV Z score was in this lower green region, indicating some very favorable risk to reward. But it doesn't just stop there. We don't just have to look at the MVRV Z score. There's actually multiple indicators we can look towards to try and improve our MSTR investing. Another one is the active address sentiment indicator. So if I just hide that and load this one up here, this one we can actually use as a strategy on strategy to see how well it would have performed. And we can see since the first initial purchase of Bitcoin in 2020 for MSTR, this has provided over 1000% returns. Now I wouldn't just blindly implement a strategy like this, but the active address sentiment indicator is tracking network utilization, the percentage change in network users and the underlying price action of BTC. And what we can see is when this orange line, which represents the 28 day price change crosses above one of these upper red bands that indicates that it's crossed above the standard deviation band of network user change that indicates that potentially we're getting a little bit 
short term overheated potentially this can't be sustained much longer any upside move so when it crosses back beneath this red band it's a good idea to potentially lock in some profits but what we can see if we just zoom out this was aggressively accumulating pretty much all throughout mstr's bottom down here and same is true for the upside. Once MSTR was topping out, again, this coincided as BTC was topping out. So of course, these metrics align pretty nicely, especially if you look at the most recent price action as MSTR was reaching new all-time highs towards four, five, nearly $600. This was aggressively taking profit. And again, this isn't just limited to the MVRV Z score looking at on chain data or the active address sentiment indicator. If we look at something like the Bitcoin Crosby ratio, which is more of a technical indicator, looking at the change in a key moving average for these charts what we can actually see is just zooming out here is this again has very accurately outlined periods where mstr might be topping out when this metric is reaching these upper regions over here and again when we're potentially bottoming out when it's in these green regions down here now this metric is slightly different to the other ones this one will actually be adopting to the price action we're seeing on mstr so this one will actually change and adopt even if you're on MSTI, even if you change the time frame, et cetera, this will still work incredibly well. And along with that, we have something like the everything indicator, which has been looking incredibly strong recently, trending very much to the upside, indicating some more positive Bitcoin price action. But again, all you need to do is zoom out and look at how accurately this outlined a great area to begin scaling out of your position right at the previous all time high and when to begin scaling in as MSTI was bottoming out. And again, another thing we can look at, not just technical fundamental on-chain factors. If we look at something like the global M2 liquidity, this is something that a lot of investors have been watching recently, especially given its potential lag and correlation to the Bitcoin price section. We can see without any like the 365 day correlation between global liquidity and MSTI is about 70.83%. What I can do is just by just go onto this indicator here and I'll just increase this offset to two months, 56 days. What we can see is this correlation increases to 90.52% percent so tracking global liquidity isn't just useful for our bitcoin investing but it can also massively improve our strategy investing as well and if i just go back onto the chart here and what i can do is actually show this here so again if you have a bitcoin magazine pro subscription you get access to our api so all of these different data points here you can actually access the raw data and do your own analysis create your own indicators like i've done here so this is actually looking at the value days destroyed indicator now this chart on the left here is looking at the Bitcoin price action and how the value days destroyed metric has outlined market cycle peaks or potentially good areas to accumulate Bitcoin. And on the right over here, we can see that this has been the strategy chart. Again, exact same data point, exact same value days destroyed data. But what we can see is overlaid. This actually looks like it's working better than it does on Bitcoin, which really outlines the effectiveness of using these metrics. Potentially strategy as it's more of a leverage Bitcoin play is more susceptible to these big volatile moves as sentiment quickly shifts, whereas Bitcoin may take a few days or a few weeks for it to really have a big impact when large players are beginning to take some profit and there's big FOMO coming in. With strategy, as I said, it may be quicker to react to these market conditions so a lot of this data might actually work even better on strategy and i think this is of course due to the fact that we have a huge amount of bitcoin holdings from strategy but i think even though we've seen this work historically incredibly well there's a good chance this is going to continue to work very strongly going into the future if not even better going forward as strategy accumulate more and more bitcoin and their entire business kind of surrounds accumulating BTC, potentially coming to this Bitcoin bank, of course, it's going to be more and more influenced by the price action of Bitcoin. And especially if they become even more of a leverage play, as soon as they start accumulating more and more BTC, they're going to be more and more susceptible to what's actually happening on the underlying Bitcoin network. So to help improve your MSTI investing, pretty much all of the charts we have on Bitcoin Magazine Pro are going to be incredibly useful to keep an eye on, whether it's on-chain, macroeconomic, portfolio data, keep an eye on all these tools, and it's definitely going to improve and simplify your MSTR investing. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. And make sure to check out all the resources we've discussed today as well as the many more that are all available on bitcoinmagazinepro.com, your number one source for Bitcoin and micro strategy, strategy analysis. So just to summarize, MSTR has a very strong correlation to BTC. Therefore, a majority of the data we use to improve our investing and analysis to Bitcoin is very much applicable to our strategy holdings. I just, to be personal and, and outline this, I'm still a vast, vastly 
majority holder of Bitcoin. I do earn a small amount of strategy stock, but given the fact that they're so strongly correlated, I don't think it's necessary to massively increase my exposure in one or the other. They're both very much going to hopefully improve in parallel and hopefully provide a fair amount of profit throughout the remainder of this cycle. But what we can see is metrics such as the MVRV Z score, the active address sentiment indicator, everything indicator and Crosby ratio have all worked incredibly well for timing, not just local, but also cycle peaks and bottoms throughout the albeit quite limited applicable history. Strategy first accumulated BTC in August of 2020, so we really don't have multiple cycles to base this on. However, we do have good reason to believe that these metrics will continue to work well or even better going forward, given the aggressive accumulation of Bitcoin by Michael Saylor and strategy. And even outside of Bitcoin specific data, like we discussed, macroeconomic data such as global liquidity has also had a massive influence on the strategy price action. So we don't just have to look at one or two data points. Really, we can cover all of our bases, look for confluence from macroeconomic, technical derivative data, etc. And once we put all of them together, it will massively improve and again, simplify the amount of time we need to actually spend to improve our MSTR analysis and profitability. If you liked this video, then please visit Bitcoin Magazine pro.com where our analytics help you to cut through the noise to make informed data-driven decisions about both bitcoin and strategy with over 150 live chats personalized indicator alerts in-depth crypto industry reports api access and more all for a fraction of the standard industry price and let me know what your thoughts are on potentially using data like this to improve and simplify your own mstr investing is it something that you're going to be doing or are there any other data points that you wish we did provide so you can improve your investing and analysis even further as i said let me know in the comments below and on social media I look forward to reading and reply to them. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.